Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is part 20 of Python tutorial course using Jupyter Notebook. In this tutorial, how to join two tables from MySQL PHP My Admin database. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in Python, to join the tables, first we'll check the tables and columns. I just logged into my PHP my admin database which is my SQL server. The table names are country table and the second table is a state table. So when we want to join tables the most important condition is at least one column must be similar between the tables. If you notice here in the country table the CID column which is a country ID column from this country table and in the state table there is a CID column. So with the help of this CID columns, I am joining the state and country table. And these two tables I have created in this sample DB database. So let's write the coding part. I am using Jupyter Notebook to write the Python code. Let's create a new notebook, Python 3. Just give the proper name for this notebook join tables click rename now when we want to join any particular database we need to install that packages here I'm using PHP my admin which is my SQL database so let's install the package first click install my SQL client run this command And here we got a message requirement already satisfied and below that we got a note you may need to restart the kernel to use updated packages. So let's restart the kernel, restart. So once I restart the kernel, let's write the coding part, import mysql db once I import this MySQL DB package from this MySQL client, then I'm declaring a variable to connect my database MySQL DB dot connect method. The connect method takes four parameters. The first one is a host name, which is a local host. The second parameter is a database, sorry, um, username, which is root. And the third parameter is a password. I don't have any password to log into my PHP my admin database. If you have any, please enter that one. And the last one is a database name. My database name is sample db database. So let's add that one sample db database. So once we got the connection string, now we need to execute the query. To execute the query, I'm using cursor method. Let's add the variable execute cursor is equals to db dot cursor method. Then write the query SQL query is equals to here the SQL query is a select statement joining the tables. So select I'm writing the table name country the table name is a country and the column name I want to display CID and C name dot CID comma country dot C name and the second table name is state table dot I want to display the S name from the state table. So here I am adding S name from the table name is a country. I am joining with the state table on in country and state table the CID column is similar. So country.cid equals to state.cid. In state table also we have cid column. The 
that's it then we need to execute the query execute cursor dot execute method in this execute method I'm adding the SQL query variable so once the query is executed I want to fetch records from this both tables mm, for that I'm adding one more variable result is equals to execute cursor dot fetch all method then I'm using for loop for display data in a result colon notice once I add the colon the cursor is blinking it got some indent here so write the code where the cursor is blinking print I want to play print display data that's it let's run this code click run see here we got the output we have selected three columns CID and CNAME CID is a country country ID and CNAME is a country names from this country table India, USA and Australia India, USA and Australia and from the state table Telangana, Texas, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Queensland and New South Wales so here we got the state names that's it